Hi, it's Steve from Parts Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the drain pump and motor on your washer. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and a putty knife, a pair of slip joint pliers, and a 516 snuff driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power to the washer. Simply pull the plug from the receptacle. Now to do this repair, we do need to remove the front panel. The easiest way to do that is to first of all release the two spring catches on the top of the front panel that engage the main top. Just take a putty knife and slide them in, oh, about three inches in from either side. Depress the spring clip and just allow the top to float. Now with the Phillips screwdriver, we will remove two screws at the bottom of the front panel, one on either side. And once you have removed both of the screws, just grasp the front panel on either side and push straight down on it. And that will disengage it from the cabinet and you can tilt it out and remove it to gain access. Now for this repair, I suggest that you use some protective gloves as the metal edges on this machine are fairly sharp. So the first thing we will do is to remove two 5 16 screws that secure the pump to the base. Then we can pull it forward enough to remove both hoses, the inlet and outlet hoses, because there will be some water in them. We'll need to put a little drain pan under there and collect that excess water. Now once we've removed the two screws, I suggest lifting the pump up and then setting a drain pan underneath of it. And then we'll remove the two hoses. A pair of slip joint pliers. Just squeeze that clamp together. And pull it away. And then twist the hose completely off of the pump. Now we can remove the clamp on the inlet to the pump. Same thing, we'll just depress the clamp. And slide the hose off the end. We can catch any of the remaining water in that hose that remains in the bottom of the tub. Now at this point, we can disconnect the wire connector to the pump. And we'll also depress that plastic wire clip. And we'll remove it from the shroud to be reused on the new pump. We can discard the old pump We'll make sure that we've gotten all of the water out of those hoses. Now we can position the tub to pump hose on the new pump. Just make sure we have it lined up correctly. Press the clamp, pull that into position, and we'll do the same for the outlet, slide it over the end of the pump, and we'll position the clamp properly.
Next we'll insert that wire retaining clip Just snapped into the hole on the side of that cover. And we can reinstall the 5 16 screws that secure the pump to the base. And we'll reconnect the power. Sure, the locking tab engages, and now we're ready to put the front panel on. Now that we've completed our repair, we're ready to put the front panel back on. So we line it up on both sides, engage the two hooks on either side with the two slotted openings in the cabinet, and then we'll pull up on that front panel till it's flush on either side with the top. Once you have it flush, we'll replace the two Phillips screws on the bottom. Next, we'll make sure that the top lines up with the locating pins on either side of the cabinet. And they will fit into corresponding holes on the bottom of the main top. Once they're lined up, just snap the front of it into place. And our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.